Hi there, my name is Linda McGill and I'm going to give you a short presentation on the female image. The mass media's portrayal of the female image can lead to false expectations, health problems, depression, and even death because some females are trying to live up to media's portrayal of the ideal woman. Media bombards us with unattainable and unrealistic images. Some females are putting their health in danger by trying to attain the unattainable body. Some of the common portrayals for the ideal or perfect woman are Caucasian, hourglass figure, blonde hair, blue eyes, big breasts, and blemish-free skin. Society and the media send the message to be perfect you must be one, all, or any combination of these things. Because of this, some girls grow up thinking they will never be perfect. Celebrities are also contributing to the false image by endorsing diet ads. There are girls as young as five years old that are dieting, and some of these girls are developing eating disorders and childhood beauty pageants also have a high rate of body dissatisfaction. Many girls are taught to value physical perfection, thinness, athletic skill, and attractiveness. Activities that focus on physical appearance can influence self-esteem, body image, and self-worth. These types of activities imply success is through physical beauty and some girls start to think that their natural beauty and brains aren't enough. Many teen dancers develop eating disorders, and in their eyes they can never be perfect, especially when it comes to dieting. These problems can carry on to adulthood and even get passed down to their children. For the past 30 years, advertising aimed at women has been encouraging them to look and feel young. In the media's eyes, a woman getting old is a bad thing. There are a lot of women dying trying to attain the perfect body. One out of 57,000 plastic surgeries result in death. People are going in for what they think is minor surgeries, such as tummy tucks, facelifts, and breast enhancements, and they end up paying the ultimate price. In South Korea, cosmetic enhancement is widely accepted as part of the culture, and they have four, over 400 plastic surgery clinics and skin care treatment centers. <clears throat> Mass media has been slow to embrace ethnic diversity. When I was a child, you never seen a native, African American, Chinese, or other nationality doll. The majority of the dolls were Barbie with blonde hair, blue eyes, and extremely skinny figures. Some girls believe that they had to look like her when they grew up to be happy or to be perfect. Barbie's body type is said to be unattainable or unsustainable. Some people say that she wouldn't be able to stand up and she would just fall over. Others dispute this. Living proof of these influences is Valerie Lukanova. She is a 21-year-old girl from the Ukraine who has taken Barbie to the extremes. She has spent approximately $800,000 on surgery. She has said she is happy that she seems unreal. It just means that she's doing a good job. Some African American women say that they want good hair, meaning straight hair, and if they alter their hair, they are seen to have sold out or have a desire to be white. They will spend three times more than Caucasian women on hair products. African Americans have three types of hairstyles, natural, processed, and weaves and wigs. Natural is afros, braids, and a buzz cut, or a short haircut. Processed is pressed, hot combed, chemically relaxed, which means the curl is straightened in some way. And then of course there's the weaves and the wigs. All of these women Beyonce, Tyra Banks, Oprah, and Naomi Campbell all say that they have worn weaves and wigs. They say people don't actually realize how many African Americans are wearing weaves and wigs on a daily basis. When I was a child, I remember feeling inadequate. I secretly wished I had lighter skin or different colored hair and eyes. I always thought blonde girls had things easy. 
that they never had to do anything, um, but just look pretty to be successful. When I became an adult, I found out in some cases this is true. But to be truly happy and successful, I didn't have to be blonde, blue-eyed, or have the hourglass figure. In recent years, attitudes have changed, but for a lasting solution, the media needs to stop portraying the female figure in unattainable or unrealistic ways. Parents need to realize that their influences have on their children, and they need to get them involved in a balance of activities to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.